um, of the uh, American Oppression Initiative Act uh, uh, or grant. Um, for type 4 application submission information, how to obtain an application package. The FOA found at grant.gov or at Department of Labor ETA.gov slash grants. Find grant CFM contains all information, links, and forms. You need to apply for the grant funding application. Should note the hyperlink of the portions of the FOA include the various parts of the announcement. Applications are required to comply with all parts of the FOA, including those parts found in the hyperlinks. Could be the content application submission. Application submission by the response of the FOA consists of the four separate distinct parts. One, SF, SF 424 application for federal assistance. Two, the project budget. Three, the project narrative for the attachments of the project narrative. If it is responsible to ensure the funding amount of the requi requested um, is consistent across for the all parts of the subparts of the application. The SF-424 application for federal assistance, you must comply with the SF-424 application for federal assistance available. Apply to the 07 grants of the Gov. The apply to the form links, family 15. The SF-424 um, Sorry, 4, 424 must clearly identify the application must be signed in the individual authority to enter the grant agreement upon confirmation award individuals of this SF-424 parts behalf of the application is considered authorized representative of the application. As is stated by the Block 21 of the SF-424, the uh, signature authorized representative of the SF-424 certifies the organization compliant with the assurance and the certification of the SF-424 be available. Apply to the 07 grants.gov. Apply form links family 15. The SF-424 B is not required to submit the uh, with this application a requirement for the Dunn's number all application federal grants and funding opportunities required to have a Dunn's number must comply must supply the Dunn's number on the form SF-424 the Dunn's number is 918 9 digit identification number that uniquely identifies the business and needs it does not have a Dunn's number you can get one of the free through the DB DNBW B DNB website the fed.gov dash DNB dot com dash web form display homepage due as authorized in title 2 CFR the grant receipt is authorized to make the sub awards must aware of the following requirements related to the Dunn's grantees must notify the potential sub grantees and, the, and that no and no one entities must receive a sub award from the um, unless the entity is provided with the dumb numbers to you, provides its dumb numbers to you grantees may not make a sub award to and it needs unless they are provided with the dumb numbers to you Requirements of the registration of SAMS. Application must register for the system award management before submitting the application instruction to register the SAMS. This can be found in the SAMS.gov portable public SAM number one. Awarded must maintain an active SAMS registration current information all times during with which the active federal award application under the consideration register re re remain registered in the SAMS database after initial and registration. The application is required to review, update registration at least 12 months of the date of initial registration and subsequently updating the information of the SAMS database to ensure current and accurate and current comp comp complete the purpose of the paragraph application of the entity must be eligible criteria has legal authority to apply with the received award to the budget but project budget must meet the sf 424a budget information available at the apply to the 07 grants gov apply forms of the family 15 the preparing of the budget information you provided con science and, um, narrative explained to the support the budget and request for the detail and below but but on um, the budget narrative the budget narrative must be provide must provide a description of the cost of Associated with each line of the SF 424A, which is not, which included is in description on, of leverage resources such as applicable support grant activities, using the final guidance, providing the budget narrative, personnel, all listing of all staff by the current and proposed, of giving an annual salary of each of the position, a percentage of each position time devoted, the project amount of the each position salary, fund of the grant total, the personal cost of the period performance, fringe benefits, the pro provide a breakdown of the amounts and percentages of the compromise, the fringe benefits, cost of the health insurance, the FICA retirement, etc. Travel special purposes and mileage per deemed estimated number in state and out of state trips, other than cost of the type of the travel equipment identification equipment to be purchased with estimated acquisition level. Of um, cost of five thousand dollars or more per unit is capitalization level is five thousand of the capitalization use full lifetime is of the more than one year the c2 two, two cfr two hundred thirty three the definition of equipment the list of its quantity and unit cost per per item the items where the unit costs less than five hundred five thousand are supplies in general we do not permit the purchase of equipment during the last fund of the grant, funded year of the grant.
Um, supplies include all tangible personnel property other than the equipment and two t code two f um, t um, code re federal regulations two um, 294 or um, definitions of supplies detailed mud budget should identify categories and supply office uh, supplies list of quantity and units and cost per item the contract will identify each of the proposed contract specify specifying purposes estimated and estimated costs if applicable identifying sub receipts of grants and in in including purposes estimated costs C section um, 6BA2F for more information on the distinct between the subcontractors and vendor and subrecipients. Construction. Construction costs not allowed and this line must be left at zero. Minor alterations by adjusting the existing space of the grant activities such as classroom and all alteration may be allowable. Um, we do not consider construction the, and the cost that may shown appropriate lines such as contractual. Other line, other list each items uh, item is su su sufficiently detailed to determine whether the cost is reasonable allowable. List any items that suspends insensitive not covered elsewhere here. Indirect charges indirect costs are not include uh, indirect costs are included in the budget and they include either approved or indirect costs rate of the negotiated indirect cost rate agreement or description of the base of the calculated indirect cost and the amount of the base. The total incorrect direct cost may be requested but if you meet the requirements to be used at 10 to minus of the rate as described in 2 CFR Code for Regulation 204-414-F. This describes the defined total district based on the 2 CFR 268. Um, definition of the calculation all along the amount of the base and total indirect cost requested by the b base of the 10D minus rate of C section 4B for attachment to the project narrative. C section 4E1 indirect cost with more information additional to the following contains the Department of Labor specific information the Department of Labor.gov OA SAM dash BOC DCD um, index HTML. Note that the entire federal grant amount of the register requested not less than one year must be included. This, um, requested not just one year, uh, not uh, all right note that the entire federal grant requested not just one year must include the sf424 air sf424a budget narrative no leverage resources shall be shown on s424 or s424a leverage resources shall be described in the budget narrative the request of, of the federal grant amounted by the sf424 s424 a budget narrative must be, um, be the same um Funding amount of the SF-424 will consider the official funding of the requested incentive as found. Um, three, a project narrative will demonstrate your capability to implement the project in accordance with the provision of the announcements that provides the comprehensive framework of the description of all aspects of the proposed project is sufficient. It must be sufficient, self-explanatory, and well-organized so that the reviewers can understand the proposed project. The project narrative is limited to 30 spaces. Um, 30 double space, double space. Single sided 8.5 times 11 inches times new Roman 12.1 inch margins. Any materials beyond the specified limits will not meet, read, be, be read or considered for the application review process. You must um, number the project narrative beginning with the page number one. Numbered project narrative. One. Um, the following instructions provide information needed for the project narrative. You, you should carefully read and consider each of the section L required information of the project narrative. The project narrative be evaluated with the evaluation criteria identified in the section of the v 5A. Um, you must use the section setter, section headers identified below each section of the project narrative. Uh, a, a statement. If this... Um, in this statement, you describe the labor market issues need for the expanding the use of American apprenticeships to prepare the American apprenticeship for the carriers the HP1 edition the occupations proposed in the, in, of growth. Um, one, the apprenticeship need for the assessment to provide evidence of skill gaps of the workforce in its regions and the training and availability of the skill gaps and how apprenticeship is a viable solution. Provide inventory innovations of the training needed to develop and bring the scale and quality apprenticeship American uh, American apprenticeship programs to selected industries and regions. Two industrial ma marketing information support job um, job driven projects. Identify to describe high growth uh, industry occupations targeted for the American apprenticeship employment training opportunities. Cited the evidence demonstrate the selected industry these occupations is one for more than an employer seeking HB1 visas and refer to the appendix A of the HB1B visa information form and labor certification data. Center at the Foreign Labor Certification DO, EETA performance data. Identify the scribe the high sky skills are necessary for the entry of the retention of the selected HB1 um, 
Growth industries or occupations identified to describe the educational training that do attain this section. Um, skills, comp competency, degrees, credentials required. Um, selected high growth gr um, industries, occupations, and if applicable, please describe how the project will be scaled to support skills and needs of the multiple employers. Cites the evidence of the middle model skilled jobs identified to average wage offers with selected high growth identified an application based on the national state of local um, local data. Provide demographic data. Assess the potential participation underrepresented groups of your registered apprenticeship program project um b in this section you must describe the overall goals as your outcomes and output uh, outputs of project will achieve the outcome and the outputs must grow outgrow the strategic approach described in the project design section a quality program progress report will be required a pro quarterly progress report will be required of all grantees to demonstrate the progress of the key metrics as well accompanying narrative to describe the activity successfully achieved during this the quarter the application must be include the following project goals milestone outputs and outcomes and must provide a table narrative and clearly identifies the overall goals and outputs and end outcomes of the result of the American Apprenticeship Program project. The performance does not count against the page of the project narrative. C-section requested detachments. Um... It does not count against the page of the project narrative. The requested attachments as well as the appendix E suggested performance table. Um, so then... The narrative description that demonstrates the milestones, outputs, outcomes, and reasonable pace on the project narrative project design application must explain the numerical targets as we were derived and how the target fits the overall timeline of the grant implementation. While the American apprenticeship of the investment may ultimately result in improved employment training outcomes of the job seeker and business, we recognize the results of certain types of the innovation, particularly systematic reforms or new policies, capacity building, and etc. may not be captured to the traditional outcome of the measures over the course of a 60-month period of the performance to the end of the um, you must describe the short-term, intermediate, and long-term milestones, outputs, outcomes to capture results of the both capacity building, employment training, A activities. The project goals are the over overarching, overarching achievements that you will pursue. The milestones are key markers of the grant progress that are typically expressed in the form of an action eventing mark of significant change or stage in the development. Outputs are measured in production resulting in the grant activities such as number of apprenticeships served, number of new programs developed. Outcomes focus Focus on desired results. Examples included apprenticeship penetration, new occupation, increase apprenticeship in certain occupation benefits to employers, increased average earnings, employment retention rates, unmeasurable change in social and indicator increased diversity in apprenticeship programs. The required measured projections, in addition with the milestone outputs and outcomes of your shows and described above in your table, you should provide the projects for the each of the metrics below. If the metric is not applicable to your project nine, please provide the reason why it is not. The capacity building of the employer, capacity building or employer metrics, total number of employees to benefit the grant and program, um, total number of in and promotion outreach and acti activities to employers, um, total num total number of newly registered American apprenticeship programs, um, total number of existing registered apprenticeship programs to expand the adding and occupation of increasing the number of the number of apprenticeship registered. The employment training metrics. Total number of participation reserves re received services under this grant includes the participation served in the pre-apprenticeship, apprenticeship, or other grant activities. Total number of the new apprenticeship registered in C Section 2A for the surface of le surface of legal uh, surface of levels and goals of the f based on funding requests. Um, the percentage of the total participation served who are identified with the target underrepresented population of the purpose of this grant, Section 3A, th um, Section 3E3 for description of the target underrepresented populations. Per percentage of apprenticeship who complete the apprenticeship program completion rate. The average pro um, the average um, cost per ap apprentice calculated as grant funds and used in d direct um, training plus leverage funding direct training developed and the number of apprenticeships to be enrolled during the life of the grant. A menu of op op optional measures to assist the application in thinking about the type of the measure that may be appropriate based on the project design we anticipate seeing below our list of optional measures that may include in your performance table. This does not mean that, that it is meant to complete the list of your encouraged development and other measures critical for project um, success. Employers' revenue, growth, and return on investment, return, employer turnover reduction percent of the employers who indicate that they are satisfied with the services received, dollars, and percentages saved on the new hires adversity getting requirements 
environment, onboarding, other areas of the cost reduction connected to the improved training and performance improvements compared with against the employer's business plan, number of the type of the improved workplace um, process, number of the type of the number of um, total number of apprenticeship pro programs supported by the grant, and total number of incumbent workers required if the number if the employer is upskilling its existing workforce. The average wage of the apprenticeship the completion of the apprenticeship program, the employment retention rate is defined in the depart- um, the um, training employment guiding, um, yeah, 170510, the entered employment rate of the TEGL to measure the participation entering the job, receiving the apprenticeship placement. placement. Um, to, to capacity and to report the evaluated outcomes, you must agree to the Department of Labor and reporting requirements to provide an individual recording level with that that would be available for evaluation national reporting purposes. The application must inform, affirm that they will report required to the department while one, once the guidance is released, the rigorous performance reporting will be taken into the account of the staffing budget plans. If not, owner of the application must identify a person position for the data coordination describe any of the experience with the purpose performance that tracking system application must describe how they will work with the program partners including the program registered as part of the grant collect report of the key milestones participation data <coughs> data, including process procedures for collecting outcomes that after participation have completed with the program. Three, the application must provide expl- explanation about how the data will be assessed to ensure the continuous progress through the grant period. Three, um, see the project design. The project. The section described the project plans of the, for enhanced um, 21st century American apprenticeship system, the infrastructure that initiate, initiate innovations that, such as described Appendix B and the goal of American apprenticeship grants to create the scale initiative and apprenticeship models of the H-1B occupations industry and make case a successful set of the scaling of these models will require incurring initiative elements of the apprenticeship model and supporting infrastructure apprenticeship applications must present a comprehensive feasible project approach for the innovating expanding apprenticeship addressing their identified goals milestones outputs and, and out, outputs and outcomes as described above um, the TDGL is a employment training administration um, guide um, include responsible times for completion of work. Application must describe primary partnership and title and any leading for the effort. To the end of the application, it must address the following. The expanded initiative is 221 first century administrative program. Um, expanding administrative program, the HB1 industrial occupation program. Projects can clearly demonstrate the ability to scale the program statewide, multiple state, regional, and national levels. Describe your American apprenticeship expansion strategies, including activities that will allow you to achieve the great scale existing apprenticeship program for the newer programs to lay the foundations for the future scale of the statewide multiple state regions national level general timeline sign up the additional employers to launching additional sites and describing how three expansion expansion strategies will address the workforce skill of the training identified into the statement as needed as well as how the strategy aligns with the goals and mile, miles and outputs and outputs of the project to describe the efforts of the promote the apprenticeship with the employers increased awareness of the value of the benefits of the American apprenticeship program as an effective approach to address the skill levels needed in the industry if applicable describe how you will expand the American apprenticeship opportunities in the IT occupational in the fields such as computer so- system software design and other occupations applicable to co- the industries and they require in tech- industrial technology skills in the computer programming information data processing digital schools skills for example healthcare um, inform- informatics and computer numerical control machining and etc to the innovations increasing returning the investment of the, in the apprenticeship of the American apprenticeship have significantly returned the investment of the four employers for today at 95% of the employer participation in apprenticeship tests Justifying the return, however, the expanding of the apprenticeship to the newly industry, industry scaling and existing models will be required. Continue focus of sustaining the increasing of the return on the investment. Projects should be designed maximum returns, outputs, and outcomes, including new programs, significant numbers of new apprenticeship goals, and the numbers of apprenticeships served based on the funding level requested. The application found in Section 22A awarded type amount. The application must provide a description of how their project design designs to uh, design to take into account take into account all major costs necessary to achieve the out- key outcomes of the milestone. The Department of Labor understands that the cost will vary balance of the key initiative service needs of the target population occupations associated wages targeted through the power. Project duration t- training and the educational tra- cost of disparity based on local grants and the activities of the application must be described by the plan and to um, cost in order to implement comprehensive project design as mentioned above or funds intended to help offset the high school uh, training catalyzing in American apprenticeship program. 
expansion application must describe available leverage resources to successfully implement the project. You must describe your strategy to cover up the upfront, upfront investments, create the scale of the apprenticeship program, such as consortia-based um, approaches, develop the curriculum and leverage existing industrial standards of the circular, such as TAA, CCCCT curriculum, or creating online or remoting platforms, distributing training content to accelerate the amount of time of the employer. The apprenticeship must invest the reaching of the full point of incidency and in as such as a flexible accelerated learning models, competency-based progression strategies, and accelerated the amount of the time the employer or the apprenticeship must invest before reaching full proficiency and skill. You must um, describe mechanisms to quantify quantify benefits in apprenticeship training to the employer sponsors, external new employer trainers interested in scaling the model. The mechanism can include industrial specific measures to value the for employers such as decreased ma material wastage and manufacturing improved patient patient outcomes in healthcare. Three, the interventions to expand um, access to underrepresented populations to ensure the uh, um, ensure under uh, uh, sustained rich su su supply of talent of the apprenticeship program over the long term of the long term and additional efforts are needed for the expanded pool of workers to see the American apprenticeship as well as respective training opportunities that is available through them. You must provide a participation outreach recruitment plan to the, um, ensure the underrepresented populations have the apprenticeship opportunities, women, young women, women of color, persons with disability, veterans, and transisting service members and others. You must describe your proposed innovation strategies and further partnership will break the down the barriers increasing the opportunity for the members of the underrepresented populations to apprenticeship as a pathway to skilled occupation individuals. For example, the application may describe access, access to quality pre-apprenticeship program, other innovative models that serve as an on-ramp to the American Apprenticeship Opportunity. See, please see Appendix B for more models. Um, what you must identify strategies to ensure underrepresented workers in pers persist in the program. Describe that how you will provide supportive services to ensure the participants and the training of their serve through the project. This includes identifying the specific, specific servers, providers, specific plan of the procuring specific Specific types of services, supportive services may include Workforce Investment Act, Workforce Opportunity Act, um, Workforce Investment Opportunity Act, supportive services, specialized participation services, case management services, dependent care assistance, transportation assistance, mentoring, other types of services that they might need in the participation to succeed in training and employment. Another initiative retention strategy, such as effective mentoring, matching, frequently mentoring, pre testing of required skills, etc. Partnership and policy innovative that create a supportive ecosystem where the American apprenticeship program, successful American apprenticeship program projects will expand partnership leverage and funding. Of developing policies, substantial expanding the apprenticeship model after the grant funding ends. You must describe the plans to engage, collaborate with a broad range of the partners through operational partners described in Section 3 and C to create and up conditions of support significant expansion of the American apprenticeship opportunities. Describe a specific plan to align apprenticeship for the public workforce agency entities and the administrative of the Workforce Info, Info Investment Act, uh, uh, Workforce Investment Act, and Workforce Opportunity Investment Opportunity Act. Um, Title One and State. And state and local WIB, W1B level. Describe plans to collaborate with the educational institution training providers, educate all adult education agencies, career technical ed, educational agencies, vocational rehabilitation agencies, state workforce education coordinated with the wards, other post secondary agencies. The application also provides members of educational institutions to, rejo to join registered apprenticeship colleague consortium. In the states, whether they exist, the application must include the plans to collaborate with the state apprenticeship agencies, state apprenticeship councils. You must describe the partner commitments and contribution to leverage resources as well as their roles in the project and for example developing the scale of the American apprenticeship program to promoting that outreach providing assistance for the program design curriculum or training providing facilities and personnel to related technical instruction on the job learning identifying recruiting and serving potential program participation including participation in underrepresented populations such as women young and women young women and women of color persons with disability veterans, veterans including transition service members and and others carrying out other, other administrative functions other rules and is applicable in addition with you documenting the comments of the public partner to the projects of the sustainability they may, this may include policies driven efforts of the sustained apprenticeship sector focus strategies um search for training and the system alignment efforts the applicable application should be also described in the establishment modification pursuant state local institutional policies other mechanisms to support the employer demand apprenticeship of the tax credits training vouchers grants utilization requirements leveraging and existing systems of resources and others describe the strategies to align long-term 
um, funding streams behind your apprenticeship model, including federal funds for a diverse array of the partners, the EG, Pell Grant, Title IV, Financial Aid, Federal Work Study, GI Benefits, Benefits Supplemental Nutrition Association Program, the SNAP, Educational Training fund, Funds, um, Workforce Investment Act, the Workforce Investment Opportunity Act, um, state local education funding and on-the-job training funding, state workforce dollars funding, other participation community college and private sector investment funds, e.g. training investment funds, social impact bonds, industrial association and labor organization funds. Title V, 21st century American apprenticeship sector and focuses employer commitments, a key local key local goal of the American Apprenticeship Initiative is to develop and sector-focused program projects which, sh which are strong employer engagement. Um, you must describe the significant employer engagement to demonstrate their commitment to work with, with the Department of Labor federally to recognize state apprenticeship programs to register new apprenticeship programs within the higher apprenticeship application must identify at least three employers required to who are actively engaged in the project and describe them in the role. Application must provide letters of commitment with the employer to further their to commitment with the contrib contributions to the project. Applications must identify regional industrial representation coordinated with the industrial association and through the other evidence such as des designation manufacturing community and either through investment in manufacturing community partnerships. Um, for innovation of the American Apprenticeship Program, application must describe American Apprenticeship Programs to be developed and special as you described and how you will transform and adapt to alternative work-based learning programs, rigorously educational-based internship models of the American Apprenticeship Program and or significantly expanded existing successful registered programs. You must describe this program Progress process to be used and develop a newly standard for the apprenticeship, including the program innovation C, the appendix B, and the key characteristics of the program, including the estimated time of the apprenticeship to complete the program. Applications must describe the strategies to employ the training and apprenticeship. The application by application provided a plan for the selecting apprenticeship in order to meet the air enrollment projections within the 60 month period of the performance. Out of the project number of the apprenticeship to be served, the application must estimate the numbers who will be new hires versus those who will be incumbent workers. To the extent of income the existing well workforce will be served. You must include a clear description of the human capital development plan for significantly upscale, upscaling these workers from taking workers into entry-level skills and moving them into the middle-class um, job skills with higher wages, such as moving as an assembly line worker into a technical field like metro um, metronics. Um, notice the Department of Labor listed less interested in proposals that seek to utilize apprenticeship models that make old, modest improvements in skills in current workforces. Three, you must explain how education training activities will provide e include both ongoing job labor and class instruction portions of the American Apprenticeship Program. The plan should describe American Apprenticeship Program that will lead to a job in advancement, college credit, or industrial recognized credentials for newly hired as incapable and a is applicable incumbent existing workers. Seven, the work plan. The application must provide a detailed work plan project management approach to demonstrate the experience implementation project of the proposed scope. The suggested form can be found in the appendix D. The work plan does not count against the page limit of the project narrative. The application must provide a detailed description of how the proposed work will be accomplished. The work plan must account for also all functions of the activities identified in the application. It describes the activities, timeframes, deliverable key term, partners, required implementation training services strategies described in the project design section of the grant period of the um, service strategies provided in the project design section with the grant period of performance. Include time frames for accomplishing or all startup activities, including the following of the startup of the grant period of the performance, including identifying the timelines when the new programs are expected to start and when the participation will enroll in these programs in order to ensure the significant apprenticeship enrollment within the first 12 months after the um, uh, in order to ensure the significant apprenticeship enrollment within the first 12 months after the grant has started. Discuss the factors that must accelerate the work identified to any potential barriers in the timeline completion will describe how to work, how the project will overcome these bo those barriers. Explain the, how the project milestone outcomes and outcomes are appropriate for the program designing and how the targets fits to the overtime, overall timeline of the grant implementation. D, I'm sorry. D. Organizational Administrative Financial cap Capacity. The application must provide information, current mission, structure, staffing, relevant experience. Describe how these factors contribute with the ability of organization to conduct with the program requirements of meeting the program exemptions. Include the information about any organization under the contract which application will have a significant role in implementation of the project. Spe specifically, applications must submit 
An organizational chart describing the composition of the partnership section four of the B4 the, um, below. Um, the organization chart will not count against the page of the project narrative. The provided overall staffing plan that describes the professional experience qualifications required for the project manager, executive, executive administrative staff, as well as the personnel school of the school board uh, members' advisor consola consolation to fill the needs and requirements of the proposed project, including the ability to manage the strategic partnership, official, official and administrative management, outreach, promotions, other key app areas of the project management, the project manager, other key and pro proposed personnel are also staff provided in his or her resume. These resumes will not count um, against the p per, per page limit for the project narrative. Um, the describe Describe the administrative council controls of the system, the properly managed monitoring report federal funds and performance. Describe how the proposed project will account for the performance system and the processes that enable timely and accurate financial performance reporting and also expeditious procurement procedures that will comply with federal, state, and if applicable, other relevant law laws and requirements, including the lacrosse of the partners as applicable. Provide a process plan time framing for the hiring of the project manager, key staff, and administrative and performance reporting and case management to ensure the project can begun, begin immediately. Um, describe how the lead organization will facilitate communications among all levels of the project across the merit partnership media members. Um, describe the strong experience work with, with the multiple multi-partner programs, including the management process um, used to lead the measurable results of workers' employers. E, the budget and the budget ju justification application must provide a budget narrative in C section 4 of the B. Uh, um, B2 based on the activities outlined in the project narrative. At the minimum, applications demonstrate how proposed expenditures will support expansions of the apprenticeship of opportunities of both employers and individuals. Describe the costs associated with each of the line of the items as S424. Describe a description of which costs will be paid by the grant and those will be covered with leverage to resources. Those include in kind, in, includes cash, income, and kind of support of pedal and type 4, financial aid, federal work, study, general 1I build, super Supplemental Nutrition Association Program, Education Training Fundings, a Workforce Investment, Workforce Opportunity Act, State Local Fundings, the On the Job Training of the Fund, State Workforce Dollars, Funding of the Participation Community College, etc., Private Sector Investment Funds, Training of the Investment Funds, Social Impact Bonds, um, Industrial Association Labor Organization Funds. Um, please say Section 4 to the B2 for information requirements related to the budget and budget justification attached uh, the, to the project narrative. In addition to the project narrative, you must submit attachments. All attachments must be clearly um, clearly labeled as attachments. Only those required and requested attachments listed below will be excluded. Um, will be excluded from the page limit. Um, you must submit your application in one package because the documentation received separately will be tracked separately and will not be attached to the application for the review. Save all files with descriptive file names of of 50 characters or less. Be assure be use only st standard characters in the file of A to Z and A to Z well, um, zero um, zero to nine. Understanding underscore the file names may not include special characters like uh, may not include fi special characters. Um, blank spaces or other accent marks must be acquitted. Uh, not another attachment may be in the fi have the same file name underscore example my attachment um fi ta file PDF may be used to separate a file name required attachments.